Oh, hello everybody, here's I'm so perfect. And yes, as you can see, today it's part two of the amazing Game of Thrones game. And uh, so I don't have much to say, I'm gonna play from where I left off. And uh, it's gonna be awesome because Game of Thrones is awesome. So, here we go, right into action. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Oh shit. <laughs> They're they're not nice. Can I stop? Like, okay, no, I can't. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. I'm gonna kill you, <clears throat> father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm drawing my sword. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like, and then we'll feed yeah, you to the fighting. pigs. Nice. Get off my. Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton don't, don't is the new back. warden Kill of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Oh shit, okay. No. Oh, can you just kill them? I'll stop have that sword, brother? boy. No, you won't. Come get it, you bastard. That's it. What? Why can't I freaking win, please? Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. That's stupid. I would have won that fight. You really are a. the axe. <laughs> Kill him, kill him, kill him. That's it. Action. Okay, can you take the axe back, please? Oh, time in. Oh, spare, it's very useless. Take back your sword, though. Wow, that hurts. Fuck. Oh, fuck, oh, I have to smash it. Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Good. Jump on him and break his freaking arm. Get out Sit. Mercy. Please. There's no mercy. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Yeah. No, please. Well, I'm firing. <laughs> Maybe that Lord was right here will see you hang Whatever. for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Quit the coward that runs. <sighs> well, what do you think? Do I have killed this Father? guy? Oh, no. He's dead now. Whatever. Garrett! You survived. <laughs> your, your sister. <laughs> she hid. I tried to stop them. That's just sad. Yeah. He's dead. I'm alone now. I'll kill the men who did this. Iron Rat, stronghold of House Forest. <sighs> It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Did Garrett. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you. Thank you, Mister.
Hmm, the blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. I hope so. Wow. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. I think I'll do if it we again. don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Mm. Okay, that's nice. Hold it and pull. <sighs> if I release, will it release? No. Put in the Okay. Better dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young. And altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. He gave right? me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. It is. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> okay, that's good. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. I'll go to see the chair. That's a nice chair. Let's look at the window now. The Ironwood Grove. Can I see it? Or... No? Okay. Whatever. Not really important. Okay. Can I look at the other window? No. Oh, picture. That was... Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Thanks, interesting. That's Lord Forrester, that's Ryan. That's Roderick. That's eight. Oh, that's the new one. I think we're, we're gonna play him. I don't know. Whatever. That's the girl. So, that's it. Learn more about the forest, I don't Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look. Look at Bucket. Can I look at Bucket? Freaking worms. Okay. I, I can touch? Whatever. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No. I guess. This might help. Oh, I took the herbs. Okay. Bandages. Yep. Good. I think finish exploring. Right? Mm hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. I finish exploring. 
Can I go there? No, I can. Okay, I'm finished exploring. Talk to. I want. I don't, I don't want to show my sword. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Mm, can I, can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my sad. lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Your family too, though. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. Perhaps the opportunity never presented itself. You have the Forester's sword? Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan. This was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. Whatever. Not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be. Um, we need to be smart about it, but we need to kill them. So what do I do? I, uh, I, I don't know honestly. I think uh, it was I'll, his family they I'll killed. Say nothing. So what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, well, anything, as any man would. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Whatever. Where would you have the boy go? 
The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll, I'll do what's best for the house. Whatever. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I have to go. That's sad. But it's inevitable. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. Wait. Should I tell him? I'll do what's best, yeah. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. That's it. What? What is it? I have an important message. It, it, yeah. It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What, what? Uh, I think that, uh, what is the North Grove? Yeah. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. I'm gonna train something like that. Probably I'll meet uh, John. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Iron from ice. Oof, Iron powerful. from ice. Remember. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Garrett, wait! Oh, Garrett. So, I hope you enjoyed my friend, that was pretty nice, some action, some fighting, pretty fun stuff. So, if you did enjoy, please like, leave a comment on whatever you desire, and you can always subscribe. So, have a great night, day, or whatever, and I will see you later, buddies.